Hi, this is Stuart, Strategos Level 3. Um, we're going to have a look today at the Battletech app. I'm doing a first look, completely unboxed. I haven't even opened it, I've just downloaded it. And I'm really going to give a first impressions. So flashy splash screen and straight in there we've got some mechs already on this chart at the top. We've got different versions, the Locust, Commandos, so all of our classic Battletech Game of Armored combat mechs keep going through. We've got the Battlemaster, the awesome. And then we've got some ones from the ones from, it looks like, the Clan Invasion, uh, Wasp, etc. So we haven't got a full range of mechs yet. It looks like not a search function. It's just the ones that are on here. So... Bit disappointing that it isn't a full kind of import database that we've only got a few mechs here so let's pick one let's pick the arch and see what we can do so i've got an end turn here armor diagram and i've got different uh, weapons here so let's start by trying to apply some damage yeah i'm just trying to use this intuitively i haven't read anything as far as the um, rules are concerned or how it how to use the app. So, on, click on the armor diagram. I've got armor diagram internals. Okay, and how do I apply damage? Let's hold. Oh, um, double click, double tap. There we go. So I've double tapped, and I've got a really interesting little interface here. How does this work? So it's like a circle. Got to add damage now. So let's try that again. Double tap. Oh, I go up and down like this. I go round. So which way do I go round? I turn it round like that. Okay. So clockwise takes the damage up. Anti-clockwise takes it down. That's an interesting interface. Quite like that. Very tactile. So let's apply. Oh, let's do a big hit. Let's give it an AC20 hit. Okay, add damage. Okay, so I've got that. Okay. And it's nice as well for safe for saving space. You can flip between the internals and the damage again. So let's give it another big hit in this time. Let's try and get to the internals. So I'm going to double tap there. I'm going to apply another 20 damage. Add damage. Right, so now I've gone through to the internals. And yeah, it's not, doesn't do anything automatically. Uh, as far as the um, roles like Flex does, because Flex is another system where it does it automatically, so it's pretty much just a gameplay aid. So I'm going to apply a gyro hit. There you go. So that's just allows me to tap uh, the gyro there or untap it there to say that's damaged. That's nice and easy. And I can see other locations just by clicking on them. That's Every time I click on one, it brings up the damage. So I can't easily see all the criticals at once. So I've got this in, in uh, landscape mode as well. So let's see what happens over here at the warrior data. I'm guessing very simply I can put in a uh, name of a pilot. That's nice and easy. Oh, I can add some cards. So these are the cards, I guess. From the set, is there any there we rec recognize? Clay. So that's an interesting one. Yeah, there's a few examples there, whether they're all the different cards that come in the set. I don't think they're all the cards, I just think there's some of them. I mean, I can give a number of hits taken. Let's put a gunnery skill in. Gunnery skill three. And let's give a piloting skill of four. And let's give him some hits taken. So he's going to take two hits. There we go. Again, nothing doing nothing automatically. But I've got a nice heat scale along the bottom here. So if I take some weapons. Medium laser. Ah, so it's already going up with the yellow on the heat scale there to say it's being fired. 
So I've got heat dissipation 10. So if I go over my heat dissipation, it sticks to other ends. Okay, doesn't change color. Ah, and I can choose where the ammo comes from. That's a useful one. So I can choose ammo is coming from there. I can do that for each one, I think. So that's coming from the left torso. Let's get that one from the, let's get the right torso one from the right torso. And the left torso one from the left torso. So I can toggle them on and off. So I guess fire just commits me to doing that. One thing interesting is it doesn't change the BV automatically based on the gunnery and piloting skills. I've got a high gunnery and pilot skill there. It hasn't altered the BV, which is a shame because I think that would be a quite a simple formula. So piloting skill three, uh, gunnery four is a 1.32 multiplier. You'd think that would be easy enough to do. So that's that's something that they could add that would potentially be quite easy. So let's uh, fire the weapons, and that will, I guess, permanently apply the heat. So there you go. I've heated up by 12 uh, plus 6 is 18. And, and then when it in turn, it will dissipate the heat, I'm guessing, because it hasn't it's gone over the heat. So it's telling me what the heat effect is at this moment. That's interesting, really. It doesn't quite work. So if I, I'm guessing if I click enter and it will just decrease heat. Enter and decreasing heat for max. Yeah, that's it. Does the heat dissipation at the end there? Okay. Um, not sure if that always works let's just fire everything so that's just heated me up by um doo -doo -doo -doo, by 12 18 24 from where i was before and then let's just end the turn confirm and it goes down so it does go over the 30 doesn't even it doesn't show it, it does go over the 30 and go back down again so that works and if I do end turn with firing no weapons, it should drop me down by 10. The only thing it doesn't have, though, is walking or running. So let's just call off. I'm going to end turn. There, there we go. It calls off. Calls off. Calls off. And okay, come back to zero. So can I click on walking to say I'm walking? Yes, yeah, so I can actually click on walking or click on running. Not sure about jumping. We'll have a look at a, a jump mech in a minute and see if we can choose the number of hexes it jumps. So what does it do? So, so far it tracks damage and allows you to put criticals on the location. It allows you to add uh, damage taken by the pilot and put in gunnery skill, piloting skill. And then name, it allows you to select weapons to fire and press fire just to get the heat effects and to click on the walking or running tab to change to change the um, heat applied from that one point for walking two points of running uh, you've got a undo last damage so if you make that inevitable mistake like it's fired on the wrong mech or you, that weapon's been destroyed you can undo the last damage reset back to factory default there we go Let's pick a jumping mech, our Phoenix Hawk, because let's try the jumping thing. If I click on jump, what will happen? Jump. Hmm. Well, oh, that's a bug, I think, because I've clicked on jumping. If I click on running, if I click on walking, it doesn't heat me up at all. No, something strange there. Let's try resetting again. So let's fire a large laser, which is eight heat. And then click on, yes, yeah, it's definitely not working as intended because I'm clicking on walking and nothing's happening. I'm clicking on jumping and nothing's happening there. Let's try another jump capable mech. So we've got a Valkyrie there. Uh, same thing if I click on the other room. 10. Now I click on walking. Oh, something really weird's happened there. 
So I've gone from four heat to two. Yeah, it's one of those things buggy. If I click on the other and turn, it should give me four heat. It's only giving me applying one heat. It's like very strange there and how it's working. So it does it right there where I press reset mech. And then when I go to press walking, oh, it's gone up to five now. And if I press running, it's gone to six. And if I press jumping, it's gone to seven. But what I can't seem to select is what happens if he jumps five. Because if he jumps five, he should heat up by five and not heat up by three because it's one heat for every hex to a minimum of three. So if you jump six in a uh, Phoenix Hall, you should heat up by six. So that's not working as intended. Can you manually, you can manually do the heat scale. Um, so that's, that's, I guess, easier. You could just manually knock it up by six, but that's uh, a limitation, I guess. I like the idea it tells you what the heat effects are as you as you go along. That's quite nice. Does it do anything if I give it a um, critical? Let's give it a critical in the shoulder. Does it record anything to tell me? There's no in in app information about the um about the locations, so there's nothing there. So again, what it does is it allows you to track armor, allows you to track criticals, allows you to track consciousness. Gunnery and pilot skill doesn't change the BB, so again, if I type in a gunnery and pilot skill of two and three, doesn't change the BB at all. Seems to be some problems with clicking on weapons. So it's just end of turn, call off again, click on LRM 10, click on medium laser, click on walking and a bug appears and it, it drops the heat for some reason. So apart from that, the basic concept's fine. There are just some just some programming glitches in there. What it doesn't do, which to be quite honest makes it a bit flawed, is there is no way to have multiple mechs on the go at the same time. So you can't really use this. It's not actually usable because to use it, I'd expect you to at least have some interface to have multiple things going at the same time. Um, unless you can flip between these, and this is this is the interface. Let's just check that. So if I go to armor and supply 30 damage, and then go back to this mech, and then go back to that mech. Oh, it stays there, so it does, you can use it. So if I apply 30 mech to that one, I'll probably destroy it. Ooh. Let's undo last damage. Well, that feature works. Let's put 10, 10 damage on. Okay. And the interface is quite nice. I do like the, um, the, the, the dial. That works really, really well. So I can just flip between mechs here. Um, I guess the, the problem is that they'll just have to change this interface at the top to decide on how they can make it so you've only got the selected mech that you want in there um, because at the moment you've got only the um, clan invasion um, battle taker game of armored combat and force pack one and two mechs in there nice icons though i do like the fact that they bring forward the artwork but that does limit it um, and also if you i guess if you're just playing with mechs from those you can use this but you can't if you're playing with any other mechs uh, and it's quite a huge database so you'd expect i mean what i was hoping from this for an app like this is not just something simple like this i'd love to see a proper bv force building aspect to it so you can build a force on the train which i'm sure everybody wants to do you can do that in mech uh, mech factory but you can't do it on this and you can't get mech factory on ios unfortunately um only on on, on android and at the moment, this is only on iPad, and I'd see that this would be a very would would possibly be an interface that would work on a on a good size uh, phone. It's not it's not a a very unwieldy interface. Uh, let's see what happens if I if I change the aspect. I don't know if anything happens if I change this. I'm going to turn it over. Now there's no rotation. 
so it is it's it's stuck in that format which is fine because it works so overall first impressions a good start does it basically do anything that flex doesn't no flex's interface is just as good and flex does a whole lot more um because Flex does all mechanics in the background if you want it to, uh, and also works out the BV. I think not working out the BV is a, is a, is an annoying one because I, I again I'd really like a, a force builder than having to work out BV, and of course eventually I'll have to work out a way to increase the catalog because again this app is going to be useless for seasoned players who really want to use an iPad instead of pencil and paper if they can only access the limited number of mechs, which is how many. Um, eight plus two force packs that's eight that's 16 and then three force packs um, so it's only 26 31 mechs plus elementals and the elementals aren't on here so another thing I guess that would stop you that the elementals aren't on here so good first attempt was it worth really releasing is it going to have much uptake I'm not sure to be quite honest because I'm not sure how many people will play using just the mechs here. I mean, it's worth using just for a try. Um, and I'd certainly use it in a game if I was just using it for those. But I wouldn't just want to use it just for those mechs. I'd want to use it for all, all of the mechs. I'm playing a game tonight and I'm playing with uh, different different mechs that aren't, aren't going to be on here. So, again, it's, it's very limited. But... I guess if Catalyst are trying to sell this as just an experiment, then yes, it kind of works as an experiment. Apart from the glitch we've just seen there about applying movement. So again, I'll try that again. So we've got a Battle Master. Let's fire some lasers. And then let's apply walking. And that works. Maybe it's just to do with jumping mechs that's causing a problem because the problem works there but if I go to a mech like let's go for a catapult and let's fire all the medium lasers and then click on walking So already that's gone wrong. Every time I click on walking, it's reduced to heat. So it's not recording the heat correctly because I should have 12 heat there and it's showing 10. So let's just reproduce that error again. So I click on four medium lasers and it's not recording them correctly. So let's reset the Mac and try and do it again. One, two, three, four, 12, 12 heat. Click on walking, goes up to 13. Take walking off, goes down to 12. So it seems to work sometimes and not others. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. Of course, the problem is if you reset Mac, you're going to reset everything. I guess you can manually adjust it, but there's some coding glitch going on there. So running increases it by two. Take a medium laser off. Put the medium laser back on. Put walking on there. It's just sometimes it seems to be uh, messing up. Well, well, I'll call that the end of that. Um, so a couple of uh, little glitches, um, and I think just just limitations at the moment in what it can do. But what it's set out to do, it's done well. We like the interface, like the layout. It's easy to see. It's very tactile um, to easily uh, add and uh, take away damage. I haven't tried taking away damage. There you go. So if I'm gonna add add twenty damage and then. I realize I need to take some away, so repair 10 of that. There you go, so that's nice and simple. Um, and does it go, does it carry over? I'm sure it does. So if I put 20, how much have I got there? So if I put 20 damage on it now, there's 24, there we go. Oh, add damage. So add damage, 20. Two, there we go. Does it spill over into the internal torso? Add damage. Oh, it's done it to the right torso. And has it added it into the internal? Let's have a look. Yes, it's already gone over. So that's good. 
All right, we'll call that a day. And let's hope that this app continues to get some development because I still think it needs a lot of work to make it a finished product. It's just a bit of a toy at the moment, not a, a really useful thing for serious games. Great.